So hey guys, this is KP and I'm back with another brand new video on my channel. And the first thing I'm gonna tell you is we have finally crossed 100 subscribers on my channel. So yeah, I know the channel has been started one year ago, but yeah, it's a bit long time that we just crossed 100 subs because you know I have a lot of pressure of studies, so I can't regularly upload videos on my channel. That's why you can understand that in India. So thank you guys for your support what you did and keep up the good work by subscribing my channel by sharing the content. So without wasting time, let's get started. So this is our first programming video. Yeah, actually in this video I'm gonna teaching you how you can make your own ADB toolkit in C Sharp or Visual Basic. Oh uh, yeah, for that I'll be preferring Visual Basic because you know, Visual Basics is very easy to learn. It's um, good for new learners. And one thing is, C Sharp and Visual Basic are very much similar. So if you learn Visual Basic or you do by C Sharp, it's your choice. It's your choice. So now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna opening my Visual Studio. So if you don't have, you have to first install it. The link will be provided in the description. If you don't have it, you can right away install it. It's a 7 GB package. Yeah, I know it's a very big package. 7 GB is very much big, so you can directly use Torrent for downloading it. Yeah, that link will be not provided in the description because I don't want any kind of copyright claim. So this is my Visual Studios Enterprise 2015 edition. And yeah, one thing I want to tell you is if you have computer which has RAM less than 4 GB then I prefer to go for Visual Studios 2008 not for 2015 because as it needs some higher RAM management and Visual Studios 2015 edition is for the professional people like me. Kidding. So let's create some new project here. Fuck off. Choose Visual Basic Windows Form application. Name it as ADB2 and OK here. So this is the form that we actually see. Now we have to design it to our mind. OK. Uh, so first thing is adjust the form at what size you want it. Yeah, basically, I don't want this name form one, so let's change this to ADB Toolkit version 1.0 or anything you want. Now, uh, uh, its start position should be center screen. Sorry, the form should be not sizable. That is, you can't make this form stretchable during the processes. Okay, this better move another. there. Okay, so this is our form, but before that, you need to understand some basic ADB commands. So here I open the command prompt, and you have to install ADB drivers at first, and then here are some basic ADB commands. Oh, now check out this. These are all ADB commands. You can see it's ADB device, ADB connect. These are the basic commands. Uh, ADB install command which will basically install an application with some switches like LRDGS all information is here that L means forward log application replace existing application and all the stuff so you need to first understand how this is gonna work so minimize this and go to our visual basic now so what I'm gonna doing is I'm gonna make an application which can actually reboot your device reboot your device to recovery We'll install an application, we'll start ADB server and end, kill the ADB server. Okay, so first thing we have to drag some buttons onto our form. To do that, we have here button commands. Now adjust it to our size. Rename the text in the properties we know to anything you want, like I like I rename it to reboot. Oops, sorry. Here which will reboot to recovery and now you need to add a text box 
normal text box with a multi-line property okay here it is over here again a button browse install so this is the thing that we needed so let me quickly explain to you what all this stuff is over here this will reboot our device this will shut down our device this will reboot our device to recovery by clicking on this adb server will be started and vice versa that, that means it will kill the server by clicking on this it will open the open file dialog that means you can just browse to application uh, in the selected file format and and by clicking and its file path will be displayed or onto this text box and by clicking on the install button it will actually install the app now as we have completed with our design let's start with some coding so let's do some coding with this button so this will execute some reboot commands like process dot start we will use some process adb to adb reboot okay i will copy it adb reboot recovery and same thing for power off and for the power off it is adb shell reboot dash p this will work on the device which is greater than lollipop like marshmallow and 5.1 devices this will start the server which is given as okay so this has been done properly everything now we have to go for this two browse and install so for browsing we need a property that is open file dialog okay now go to the browse now we need to assign some properties to it some functions like open file dialog one dot file name is equal to this select and APK multi select has been disabled. Open file dialog dot filter is equal to APK files. This means that it will only browse, that means it will only show APK files with the, that means with the extension dot APK. No other files. And if you want to show the all files in that drive, you can use this code. Okay. Now, everything has been set. Let's print it. A, sorry. A open file dialog dot show dialog, which is equals to dialog result. Sorry. Okay, then, then what? Then we want the file name of that APK to be displayed on our open file dialog. So, open file dialog dot file name. So, yeah. Okay, now you can directly. So, th so this was our open file. So, this was our. So, this was our browse option now let's install app this is it so install application will be go like will be will be so install application will go 
So install application goes like process. Oops, sorry. Oh, fuck off. Process. Don't start. ADD install dash r space. So this is our ADB install command. Now what this is, is this will install ADB install. You need to first know, understand what is the format of the ADB install. ADB install dash R and the path of the APK. So this is ADB install dash R and the path of the APK delimited by comma. And why to write this comma? Because this Visual Studios want comma. So it's not, so it's not in my hand. You understand that? And the reason I have leave here space is very simple that if I won't leave the space, it will be something like this. ADB install dash R and path. This path means the path of the APK. So we don't want this. That's why we leave a space here. And that's why I leave space here too. So this is a basic application. As you can see, we have completed. So this is all our coding. And the first thing is to save your whole project. ADB tool. It's in this directory. Now, copy your ADB files like this. ADB. These are the main ADB files. Into the path where you have tool save here. This is your whole tool. Now you can run this. We can see here. Okay, I think something we got some problem over here. Let's see. It says the system cannot file the file path specified. Okay, I got the thing. You need to do this thing. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is the file path, so adb.exe, comma. You got this? And here. Okay, so this is the thing. adb.exe and reboot. Let me test it first. Okay, so it's working fine. Now you can make changes to your whole source code. Let's see. And yeah, I have written here plus because the process to start won't allow us to use this comma. That means this overload more than twice. So I have written here plus. That means it will attach this as one overload. Now you can just directly run it. Let's see if everything works. So this works. Let's see. So this is our form. Let's click on the browse button. If you can find where it is, you can see. Go to the downloads. These are the APK files. You can see the extension. This is the all file. Now you can browse anything. So it's recommended to keep it in the APK extension. This is security app. Now you can see it has printed over here. And what if you want to increase the font size? To do that, it's very simple. Is you need to go to here. Stop it. You need to go to the design form. Change this font property to the font you have you want give it 10 oh fuck 9 oh holy shit wait a minute sorry did some
So you need to go to the first design form, click on the text box, go to the font property, select MS Reference, and we want 9. Okay. Now check it, and you will see that the font size has been increased. And you have noticed one thing that whenever we click on some command like here, this ADB starts over. We can see a uh, a shell has been executed on the form. And what if if you don't want to show this shell? For example, if I click on the reboot button, you can see that some pop up is coming over here. So what if if you don't want that and want a simple plain code? To do that, we have to set some properties of the process. So let's go and let's write some properties of the process. So the first file goes here. Cut that. We will make it as a comment. So let's write something. Dim p as new process. Now p dot start info dot file name gonna be our file name. Sorry, what is this? A d b dot exe p dot start info dot arguments is our argument that is reboot argument p dot start info use shell execute script is equal to for false p dot start info Create no window is equal to true. So it's like this. True. Now you can start the process p dot start. Now if you can see, let's test it. Yeah, it has been executed. You can see here. This has been executed. You can see here on the form that we have clicked the reboot and the reboot. This process has been executed, but you can now see that a pop up window has not been shown. So, this is what this all process does. This will create you shall execute. That means this shell window. Now, does this will create window? Uh, sorry, does this will create no window? Yes. And thus, this is our whole program. And now, if you want to change the icon of this, suppose we don't want this icon, it's look ugly, bit. So go to the form, design form, click on the form here, this, this. Oops. Form. Click on the icon option here and browse any icon you want. For example, I choose this. And here we are. We have created our own ADB toolkit with some basic, very, very, very basic commands with this. Okay. And if you want the source code of this, you can just directly check on the GitHub link that I'll be providing in the description. So thank you guys for watching my video, if you like the video you can just leave a like and subscribe to my channel for the more programming tips and tricks. Yeah, I'll be doing some programming tutes in the future and comment anything you want to know about my myself or any doubts you have in programming. If I have time, I will definitely answer it or make a question in this video. That would be a great idea make a question and answer video okay so this is it my name is KP and I'm sending out